settled. There you we have it. And the Nether and the Elves have a alliance finally. Wonderful. Well, we've always had an alliance on paper now. Yeah, on paper. And you're back in seat? Yes. Obviously, I can't really stay in Ivywood any longer. So. It's any consolation. I'm glad you're back. I'm sorry to have caused uh, conflict with the kingdom that you happen to have a peace treaty with. I It wasn't my intention to... Things are fine now on that front. What I want to ask is... Why didn't you tell me? Tell I'm you. I'm sure there's something that I've done. Tell you what? Tell you. Tell you. Tell me that you. Not you, but your sister broke your brother out of prison. Honestly. I I didn't really know what to do about the information when I learned about it. In fact, it was the first day I had met Anthony. And he straight up told me about it. I had to pretend like I knew what he was talking about at that time. And for so long, we never heard anything. We never... Uh, he did have bounty hunters come after him. We thought maybe that was related, but now we're thinking that's related to something different. I didn't want to bring it up if it was a problem that I couldn't solve for him. I've only met Princess Lorelia a couple times. Actually, maybe it was only that one time. The meeting before the end... And then going to the end were maybe the only two times that I've ever interacted with her. And even in those times, I, we barely spoke. So I don't know if she... I have, I'm speaking to her tomorrow. I don't know why she kept it to herself if she was expecting me to say something about it. So I don't... I don't know, I guess I, I, it wasn't in the forefront of my mind that I didn't, it's not like I tried not to tell you, it's just that I wasn't thinking about it because it wasn't a problem at the time. <sighs> How can I help now? I, uh, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. I, I've come up with a solution that I will talk to Princess Lorelia about tomorrow. What is the solution? Um, well, I'm hoping that in, it involves no one getting killed or executed. I would hope so, too. Yeah. I, uh, I promised, I promised Kai I, I wouldn't. Good. Uh, should is there any part of this plan that I can help or should be aware of? Should it not go to how you hope? If it doesn't if it doesn't go as I hope will you please I don't know I told myself I wouldn't do this, but to keep Anthony safe, I'm thinking of pairing him with Estelle in the Seraph Kingdom. Alright. I didn't want 
to do an arranged marriage with your side because I know that that's not what you want for either of your sisters and Anthony has already voiced that he has a liking towards Estelle and that their date was successful um, and Rain is also agreeable with the idea so I thought maybe that would be better for him to be in safe in the Cloud Kingdom than to be here by himself. So, if it does not go well tomorrow, can you just check on him every once in a while? I know that's a weird thing to ask. I just, I would just hope that he would be happy. That is more than easy to do. But it's not going to go poorly tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't mind you marrying off Anthony. About, I'm worried for him because if you marry him to Estelle and should they not be reigning family anymore he would lose his status that's what he wants he said he doesn't want to rule the kingdom he would become a subject let alone he'd be prince consort yeah um he'd if be less than well he would yes cuz he would cuz estelle wouldn't be princess yet so yes, he is aware. How does marrying him to Estelle help? It keeps him it keeps him safe and and away from here. Oh, so Lorelia would have to pick a fight with the seraphs as well then. Mm hmm How is this timeline gonna work? You have to have you have to tell her this tomorrow. Yes. When's he getting married? tonight? I don't know. I'd have to negotiate some time frame. I don't, I don't, I don't intend to tell her that Andrew is Anthony. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that buys me a little bit of time. But I think what I have to offer her might, might sway her decision. So. I know the elves are queens and kings of secrets. But you can tell me. I don't want you... I don't want to burden or get you more involved than you already are. So... Forgive me for keeping it to myself. I can't help you if you don't tell me. It's okay, you don't have to help me. I want to. But I can... This is not... This is not something that I want... This is not a mess that I want... You to get tangled up in. We're allies now. That's the point. I understand, but... Can you just guarantee me that you're going to be safe and alive? Yes, I, I will. Thank you. I think a while back I told you I don't value my life. And I can feel that it's changed. So Good. I think I do want to live. I want you to live. I want you to be here. This is a 
mess. Yeah. Indeed. I I will take care of it. I, uh... When it's said and done, will you tell me then? I don't want to hear it from someone else. I'll tell you what. The secrets you keep close. They weigh on you. I don't want you to bear that alone. It's okay. I... used to it, <laughs> honestly, but I will. I promise. I will tell you. I don't want to be made a fool. Why would you... I wouldn't, uh, do well for my reputation. Why would you be made a fool? That would be the last thing I would want to make of you. This is why I want you to tell me things. Because when I hear them from other people... There's nothing... <sighs> I'm, I'm saying in general. There's nothing I'm hiding. When I get... Go ahead. I'm not hiding anything in particular. I just don't want to... I just don't want to burden you... With the messes that I have made. And it's better for this particular mess that you... That I don't tell you everything. It's not a particular secret or anything. It's not something that I've held on to for a while. It's just... I'm not telling anyone, so don't feel like you're singled out. It's not that. It's where, as I asked Knight Max the other day, where his alliance leads, if he lied in that moment and he went back to tell Solstice or the mermaid or anyone else he holds dear to him, they would know. And when I don't know things that I meant to know, that's when it makes me look like a fool. That's when I get questioned where my alliances lie. How I couldn't know. Why I was never told. So if you can ensure that's not going to happen, I want to stand by you. Again, you don't have to tell me, I'm just voicing concern. It'll be all right. It better be. I'll try my best. Has, uh, has your messenger refilled his bar? Um, I have no idea. Let's go find out. A long day of negotiations. Sounds like, uh, for a drink. <laughs> okay. That could be fun. <laughs> Let's hope he has beer. <laughs> Better. Is he around? No. No. Well, we Whoa. could go on an adventure and go find some hops. <laughs> go raid his house. I, it's not like I haven't done that already before. Mm. <gasps> he uh, has! Yeah, Yay! Let's go. And now I have money that you paid me for. Woo! <laughs> for your book yay I can't read to read later I hope I hope you enjoy it I'm excited to read it there may, may there may be some errors I didn't wait for Kano to proofread it I was I panicked oh
so. That's fine. <laughs> I haven't told him. Uh, he probably knows. Oh? I haven't told him that I published it, but I'm sure he knows since... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, well, you're not reading it now, are you? No, 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 no. I was just reading the first page. Okay. Is it about people? Uh, it, what do you mean about people? Like, are they fictional people? Yes, they're fictional. Or, yes, okay. I actually, I asked Lena if it would be okay to do a story about a Navarian princess, if that would be bad. She just wanted to make sure that I, like, didn't, wasn't offensive in any way. So, like, she helped me, mm. like, make sure, like, it was going to be, you know, I wasn't, since I was writing about another kingdom... Mm -hmm. That I could, you know, be more accurate about it. So. Mm -hmm. I get you. Yeah. Is there anything else on your mind? Kato seemed to be absent, minus today. Yeah. I, uh,. I haven't really spoken to him since I, quote unquote, came back. I don't think he knows. I'm not sure if he knows what's going on. Well, I'm sure he knows maybe a little something, but I haven't told him what I plan for Anthony, and I haven't told him about me talking to Princess Lorelia tomorrow. Are you going alone? Yes. Do you need weapons? N no. I'm I'm just fine with this thing. If I am sure if I wanted to, I could probably but I'm not going to. That would be an awful I'm trying to avoid war. I don't want war to break out. And that's why I'm know, not I'm trying to I'm trying to save as much lives as possible. I don't know. I don't know Lorelia very well. Maybe you know her better than I, but I would hope that she feels the same way and that she's just hurt from the loss of her sister. From what I gathered from her subjects, she seems seemed, I don't know if she still is today, if she's had a chance to cool off, but she, from the sounds of it, she's ready for war. If it need be. I don't know if she's itching to pull the trigger. I think after what I have to say to her, um, I think that'll change her mind. Hopefully. But. Anyways, we don't have to talk about this topic anymore. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else. Oh. oh, apparently we're hosting a race. Um, mm. in the Elven Kingdom. I'm not sure exactly. I have not decided. What... Horse race? N well, so it just, our task, it requires okay. us to host a race and mm -hmm. um, we need to have at least 10 racers. That's going to be a little bit difficult. So I might have to, you know, have like entries, like have people like sign up and like dedicate themselves to coming to the race. Um, I'm sure some of my guys would be down to do that. I th I'm thinking I want to do is like something archery related. Like if I can like make a tunnel with a minecart and then have like buttons and doors, mm. and you have to shoot the buttons to open the door to get to the next part, and then have like that's oh, but ten different seems... rows. That might be hard. That I was gonna say that seems very complicated for a a race a, f a foot race I fight, in my I head it felt less complicated because then I wouldn't have to build a race course I could just mine a couple holes in the ground well, but I you could mark out a path and then still do the targets but obviously it would be more of like who kind of you know gets to them first I think I don't know I'm imagining like it's a foot race, and they all start at the same point, but then, like, you know, cross-country running, where, like, 
you eventually fall into like a rhythm and like you might not be first, but then at the end, like you sprint for what you want. It might be like something like that. And then like, if it's involving bows, I imagine if anyone like gets hit with a bow and gets like knocked down, if it's like an elven person, like they're out <laughs> kind of thing. Um, I don't know if I'd, I don't know if I would want to shoot anyone. Would you be forbidding elves to partake then? Uh, it's possible. That would be rather difficult to have ten other members from other kingdoms participate, but I, I don't want any accidents to happen. Understandable. You have like a little medic crew. <laughs> oh. Because you can set it down. Yes. <laughs> um. I. I. I just don't want anyone to permanently fall. Is my concern. You know. But it is an They're idea. Dedicated people to help them. Yeah. Well. It doesn't have to be doesn't work every time. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. <sighs> so when is his execution? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that's not what I wanted. That is better. I was trying to drink it. It wouldn't let me. Oh. There we go. Um, hopefully by the end of this week. I don't know about execution. Lena is... Oh, that's right. ...advocating for him. I've noticed that they're close. Something I'm not happy with my knights about. Well, they I noticed that about. Lucario is quite close with him as well. The three of them, yeah, I see the them reason... a lot together. Those two are the reasons why a portal was made in the first place. What? It was an offhand comment, but... They, uh... Lena was talking about how strict it is that she can't come and go as she pleases from the Nether. Mm -hmm. Lucario didn't disagree. And so Ziff took it upon himself to give them a back door. He made an illegal portal so that they could go, come and go as they please. But I don't think that's necessarily what they wanted. And it's just frustrating to me because Lucario is very loyal. He's I don't want to say he's easily swayed, but I'm starting to think that. But I don't really have the means to demote him and get a new knight. Well, I don't know. Hopefully... <sighs> that is tough. I don't... I just hope when push comes to shove, he, uh still listens to me. He definitely seems like a person who likes to push the laws, but um, I guess if I am I can't be talking, I uh, break several <laughs> rules myself, so I just do it a little more discreetly. You have the ability to go invisible. Your whole shtick is doing it discreetly. Well, why have the uh, ability to go invisible and not use it? True. But I should be more careful. Yes, you should. I, um... 
in other news, I also found an additional portal. Another one? For the ones we've created. Yes, I found two total. I've Can since eradicated them. The only portal that still stands is Ziff's original. I want to go through it and destroy it on the overworld side, but I'm worried that it will spawn in water. Let me let me do it for you. He's here. Hell no. Okay, well then maybe dis nah. mm. This is what I did with Princess Coral. Distraction, then I go in, break the portal, and then I'm out. And I'll telepass to you. That will be suspicious. Do you mean telepass to me once I'm gone? Yes. Yeah, you give me the okay, and then I telepass to you. There's also a chance that it will spawn above the water. Okay. So we'll be standing in the middle of the Mermaid Kingdom, and a portal will be created with you standing inside of it. <laughs> I know where his house is. I've swam... Let's check his house? Well... It's worth a shot, isn't it? If one of your knights or fang was here, I would consider it. No, I don't need a knight. I've done several things without a knight. He's gunning for you already. I'm not... Well, I mean, sort of intimidated, but I sometimes forget the power of my bow. He also just got stronger armor than what I currently possess. He's fine. I'm fine. This does an insane amount of damage. I'm not worried. Let me do... Let me do this for you. I simply just wanted to know if the portal existed within their kingdom or if he has since destroyed it. Because if he's destroyed it, then I will just destroy it on my end. Well, there's only one way to find out. I can either go through the portal. If it spawns above the water, I'll just break it real quick. I've got a diamond pick. Efficiency four. Um, You'll probably want this instead. Hmm? This is obsidian breaker on it. So oh. it, it's ten times faster than that. Okay, well then. Um, and then if it's in his house which would probably be better. I can be invisible. He won't have to know I'm there. I don't, he probably isn't even in there because Coral and Quinn, he's probably talking to Coral and Quinn. Just tell me which one you want me to do and I'm, I'll do it. I don't know if I want you to do either. This makes me genuinely nervous. You don't, I haven't done it yet. You haven't, you don't have anything to be nervous about. I. We are playing with the wrong kind of fire here. I can go invisible. He doesn't even have to know it was me. I have 14 bowls of stuffed pumpkin of five minutes of nourishment. Uh, Come on. Hold on. I think I should go through the portal from the nether end. I agree. I am also going to eat nourishment food. In case he tries to hit me into the water, then I can fly away. No, you don't have to go into the water. Just stay in the nether, and I will communicate. No, if he tries to hit me into the water. What do you mean, tries to hit you in the water? If he's there at the kingdom. You said you needed a distraction. Am I not going to talk to Coral? No, no, no. I've scratched that. Oh, great. Have you checked your mail, by the way? Oh, oh have I? Yeah, it's empty. Oh, okay. I did check it earlier when I came back. It was quite full of everything. Mm. All the events and stuff that I missed. So it was uh, it was good to go to the Winter Festival and have f actual fun at an event. Have you Wish... not had fun at other events? The only other event I, had, I went to was the ball. Oh. I mean... I guess it was fun I, till towards the end. I went to Malachi's birthday as well. That was fun. I mean, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was great. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Here is 
a worry that I have. What? If I give you, have you picked up a ruby before? Um, yes. Actually, I don't know. Because <laughs> I think this, I don't want this to give you an achievement. Well, then I will use mine. It's going to take you longer. I, Does it go invisible fine. with you? Okay. What's on it? Um, efficiency four. Well, fortune three, but oh well. Mending and unbreaking three. Actually, we should go. Unbreaking four, mending, efficiency three? Mm-hmm. No, efficiency four. I'm breaking three. Oh, oh. oh, sorry. Uh, I will go there. No, I'm fine. You can telepass to me. Okay. Because okay. I can just fly there. Don't teleport. Okay. All right. Stay here. Please. Okay. Do not move. Okay. Not moving. There's a giant quarry that I do not need you to fall down. Okay. That would be quite unfortunate. Let me get into, uh... Away from the wither skeleton. Or not wither skeleton, some wither snakes. Okay, you can come to me now. Okay. You okay? Yes. Am I good? You're, sna you're snapping all over the place, but. I think it's because they're in the end. Are they in the end? That's what the type of armor that he got was. End armor. Oh. Um, jump for this. Alright. Parkour, parkour. Oh, okay, that hurt. <laughs> you just straight up missed Um, it. hold. <laughs> hold okay? on. I should have brought some golden apples with me. I don't re oh, exactly oh, region. There you go. Wait, but no, I gave this to you. I have an extra one. But these I found one in a chest. I know, I left it there. I took another potion of weakness. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I found it in a sky chest in a sky island. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, You're now, fine. you know, I took a couple... I meant to tell you. It wasn't a secret that I was keeping. I just... I took some potion of weaknesses because I had more villagers that were sick. Oh, so you came here without me being here, um, but you uh, won't come here when I am here. Well, I... 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 I, I don't have an explanation. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Hey. Oh. Safer tunnel. Ooh. Oh. Nice try. Wait, hmm. what? Someone's helping him. I lava trapped this, which means that either an Aetherian got rid of the lava, or he somehow got in uh, a... Uh, Water bucket in time? Not a water bucket, because it wouldn't work here. A fire resistance potion. Oh. Which, I believe, requires... Just redstone. Or no, hold on. No, magma it cream. needs magma cream. You, he definitely was helped. A lot of my netherian materials have been spotted. Blaze bolt powder, islands. slime ball. I'm sure it was the blaze powder and the slime ball. Because blaze powder can be found in the overworld. It's rare, but it can be found. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also gave Kaya a substantial amount of blaze powder. That was part of our deal. I'm realizing a flaw in this plan. Mm. I need you to go back to the overworld so I can TP out <laughs> of wherever I, I TP into. Mm -hmm. I will. Um, Night Kaya, in a sense, extorted me for unlimited amount of quartz and specifically 25 blaze powder. 
They claimed it was to make telepasses. I, well, I, I don't know. Kaya really doesn't like Ziff because of what he has said to me. I would be fairly shocked if all of a sudden they were buddies. There's she said her. Oh, yeah. And there's also Sylph. Hmm. Who yep. could have taken things and is easily swayed as well. So. Well. This irks the hell out of me. I want to just kill him. Like, I. He. There's a. There's a fiery rage inside of me that just wants to just end, just get rid of him. Like, he is a threat on all aspects. To the mermaids, to the netherians, to you. I don't... Ugh. And now he's getting better armor. Why the hell did he decorate this place? I don't understand that. It seems stupid and redundant. Coconut sign? It has to... Be. Ugh. I don't know what to do. I promised Coral, or I promised Aurelia and uh, Rain that I could make a new helmet to subdue it. The, the, this black serpent. What's wrong? Melody? Yes, sorry. Black serpent helmet. Replace helmet. What's wrong? Nothing. Don't lie. What's on your mind? Talk to me. Hmm. I saw. Um. I did, yes. I want to switch the helmets because it said that the netherite helmet will subdue the black serpent. But that means he's still alive. If anything, we need the netherite... We need that helmet gone. So I have the materials. I don't know what happens if I touch the real ones. I, I'm too scared to know what could happen if you touched it. I don't want to touch it. There's a way that I can take it off of him, but I need to cuff him first. You would still end up touching it. <sighs> I can put a box down, he can put it in it. Willingly. He would have to do it willingly. That's what I've given all this time to Coral to do. Figure out what's going on with it. I wish there was something I... Maybe I... No. No, all my ideas are stupid. They just end up getting somebody killed. <laughs> Such as? Um, I was going to say, I could try and get it off of him. If I go invisible. How would, how would he willingly give it up? What would motivate him to... Get rid of it, especially if he's already mind controlled from this black serpent. Obviously, it's going to tell him to keep the helmet on no matter what. Unless there's something that the black serpent doesn't want, we would have to find that out. We could speak to a certain winter advisor. Well, you could. It's... Uh, I could. It's, uh... Maybe a little conniving. We asked her if she would be okay with me downing her. Downing her so that... What? So he feels compelled to give it up. 
that you'll let the timer run out. You'll let the timer run out if he doesn't give it back. Wouldn't he just try yeah. it and rip? No, that we, could we, work. we leg shackle him and put a chain on him. You can still throw things out of your inventory when you're hold when you're shackled. Mm -hmm. We foot and hand shackle him with a chain so we can pull him mm -hmm. so he can't get close to her. He give it up. We down her. Say we're gonna let the timer run out if she if you don't give up the helmet, but you're there, invisible, already bringing her up. Oh, that could work. But doesn't it say- Or we have another contender. Miss Marina might be willing to do the same thing. Yeah, it's possible. They love him. Depends on where they stand on this whole black serpent thing. If he's truly a good guy and they love him for him and they want him alive, with you there, I mean, maybe with Marina, I think they'd be inclined to believe me a little bit more. Ira, I don't think I would have any issue with. It would just be a matter of if she's even hesitant on it, then she could say something. Okay, I'll do it. Let's do it. But first, I'm going to do this. Okay. Oh. What? Are you seeing where the portal goes? Yeah. Do you want me to just hop in through real quick and then come back and tell you where it is? Take a screenshot of the coordinates. Okay. I'm going to go to that. Oh, okay. no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. What? I'm, I'm, don't go yet. I got to lose some hunger. Oh, perfect! Oh. This is great! He's gone. Keep it that way. Yes, don't come back. Why am I not losing any <laughs> hunger? Do you have a... Um, no, I don't have... Tech? No, I... It's gone. Where are you? I Oh, I'm running around in circles trying to, like, lose... Ouch. Oh! Okay. Punch me again. Did that help? Yep. No, no. Punch me again. It's not doing anything. Use your scythe. Oh, no, there we go. What? <laughs> okay. Use your scythe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I'm going. You have nourishment? Okay. I'm going. Be careful, please. I, I will be fine. Oops. Done. Done? Done. It was Here. in um, a tunnel underground. And... Oh, wait. Sorry. You can't see me. Um, It was oh. in a tunnel underground. <laughs> and... I did, it was... There were iron doors um, at the end of the tunnel. And then on the other side was, like, a little small room with some nether wart and a potion brewing stand. She's brewing fire resistance potions so you can come into the nether. Probably. Oh, I should have taken the brewing stand. Do you want me to go back and destroy it? <laughs> if you take all those materials, what are you gonna do? Sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> go back into the portal. Do we want to discuss well, this plan with okay. Marina right now? Um. I need we to could. approach Coral at some point. We could. I don't have anything going on. Oh, perfect time. Damn. That's right. I don't think anyone was there. Did it seem like the Mermaid Kingdom? I have no idea. I have I have I screenshotted coordinates though. You want me to tell you? I 
do, but I don't think I'll know off by heart. I can look at my map. Okay, you stay here again. I stay away. Here. Oh. Stay at the castle, and I'll tell you when. All right. Ouch. Let's see here. Okay, I just <laughs> screenshot it. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Let's see here, because I'm going to look at the coordinates and then pull it up on the map. I'm doing some... I know, but you said it's so sing-songy. Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I'm not. It was cute. You're making fun of me. It was cute. I like to sing. I wish I was getting the singing task. I keep getting snapped back. This sucks. Please, you said they're in the end, walk. right? So they're definitely not around. Although I did hear a door open the moment I went through the portal. So I don't know who was in his house. But it wasn't him because he wasn't on the server. Okay, I'm at the portal. Okay. I can't look at the hold. For some reason, I cannot open this. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, 417. Oh wait, I'm in the Nether. I can't even look. Well, <laughs> I should. I just. Pre I should have pressed J. That would have been more helpful. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll go again. Oh, wait, I can do. Okay. Okay. Great. Take two. Did you still have nourishment? Um, I should. 45 seconds. I should probably take another one. Okay. Well, your nourishment. It's not going to go down until you. Oh, true. That's fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Okay.
Done. Easy. I'm the biggest fucking idiot. What? I cannot believe I said that in open chat. It's okay. At least you didn't say something else. Because <laughs> it could have been something else. It could have been Grab something else. Like you said. <laughs> I got mean... the fire resistance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been uh that would have been uh that would okay. Well, so there's that and that and that and that and that and that. I don't have inventory that. space. So oh. Um... Sorry. Oh, then sorry. I'll just hold on to it then. I only grabbed three water breathing potions, but I broke the chest, so they're just floating there. So hopefully they despawn. Thank you, and then let me eat that, and then. Eh. Eh. Okay, I can pick up some more stuff. Okay, I don't need those anymore either. Okay, <laughs> that. Uh, I didn't need the water breathing potions, technically. <laughs> I just wanted you to get rid of them. Oh, here. You can have them. I don't need them anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have that thing. Actually? Hmm. You could use them. They don't help. They don't help against protection, them. but if you have a combination of water breathing and protection... Water protection for on all items. It's probably the best defense you'll get. I have water protection too. Well, I'm saying working oh, up towards pain. it. If mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, we can. Ansel's and interesting. We can go back to the Nether. <laughs> okay. So the portal already exists, and we took his obsidian. I took him like well it's true i guess he if he really wanted to he could just make it all again but it's making it really inconvenient for him because he has to do it all over again and we should have uh we should have left a, a sign <laughs> but that would have told him who it was we had put a sign like nice try i'm sure he's gonna know oh. Me being nice to him in open missives, something's up. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wasn't at his house, so. True. Um, I'm hoping they're meeting somewhere. Oh, but it was, it is in the uh, Mermaid Kingdom because I did the J. I pressed my map. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, let me actually look exactly where it was. Um, yeah, so it's, like, not even very... It's, like, it is in his house. It's definitely in his house. Because it's right next to the castle, right mm -hmm. where the night tower is, and that's where his house is. Where'd you go? That's interesting. I'm going to... I Stay in the castle. Okay. I'm going down to the bar. I've been to the bar by myself. How do you think I got those well, potions flying... of weakness? I know. I'm flying over lava. Don't come. Well, I'm not. I'll just walk. I've got legs. Okay. Well, you can TP to me now. I'm safe. Okay. Have you been down here in the grow up? Uh, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> the grow up. That's <laughs> exactly what I thought it was when I came down here. <laughs> I was like, whoa, all right. Well, this, this whole thing was originally, like, netherwort, like, all of it. And I was like, whoa, okay. Good to know. It still looks like, whoa, okay. <laughs> to me, at um, least, since I never seen netherwort ever. Oh, I want potion ingredients on the other side. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming that's why the chests are empty, because they were all filled. Uh, where is Oh, there's the golden apple. <laughs> Yeah. That's very nice. Well, I felt Thanks bad so because I came over and just grabbed it, but I, I didn't want the villager to die. I was running out of time, so I was like, I'm just going to go and get oh. it. I'll leave an apology gift. Oh, good. Uh, where was the... Here it is. Okay. And then... Should I put... Where should I put water breathing potions? Uh, probably in this bottom one. Um, so 
Well, same as whatever nether wart can go on the other side. Do we need to break the portal from the nether side? Yes. It will respawn if he uh, builds it again. Sorry. Yeah. I see. Oh my god, why are all these chests full? I have one. But go. if you fill the entire area, will it respawn in the same area? If you fill the entire area with Like if blocks? I fill it with netherrack? Mm hmm. Potentially? If anything, it would just shunt to the next available location, which means it wouldn't be hidden then. It would be like on that path that we took originally. It might get shunted to there. I think at the end of the day, like, it just needs to get the helmet off of him or get rid of him. Yeah. Should we talk to Marina? Here's the thing I don't know how devious this is. Ah! Uh. We, uh, yeah. If, uh, should we talk to Marina? I feel like Marina would. Oh, shoot. Don't go in for my boat. <laughs> oh my god, he's so nice. I'm going back to the castle. TP. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for. Sorry. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Almost not good. I almost walked right forward. Okay, we're fine. Everything's oh, good. Everything's fine. I'm sure we would have. I would have gotten you. I don't know how um, you would have picked me up, but. I figured it out. Okay. Um. You also have time before you die to lava that you can teleport back to me. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. I forget about that sometimes. Um. Should we talk to Marina now, and then I schedule something with Coral, and that's like a backup plan? Sure. Like the backup plan with Marina? Mm-hmm. Uh, what should I say? <laughs> How likely are you to meet alone? <laughs> I'm just gonna say I have a proposition for you. Butterfly! <laughs> Kind of. Maybe it's more of a moth. Other question. Do mm -hmm. we involve Princess Coral at this point? Or do I keep the allure of... We could ask Marina. I messaged her. I said I have a proposition for you. Well, we could ask Marina if she wants to involve Coral oh. or not. I'm about to do something with a couple people, but after that I can send a message, she says. Should I say it would only take a moment? Yes. I said it would only take a moment of your time, but it would require you to be alone with myself in Maholia. I said we can also involve Ira as I know you are all together, question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Marina, we banded together to save Maholia's life. Oh? We went looking for you after you disappeared. At the Elven Ball? Well, it was the second time. It was after you disappeared, after we found you. Oh. I took to the skies. She kept to the water. A couple more ground. I didn't know that she did that. She said, I'm having a conversation with Ira at the moment. As soon as her conversation is over, we can come over to you. Is that all right? Sure. She can meet us at the Elven Kingdom. And go back to the greenhouse again. <laughs> <laughs> we sure can. Oh. Um. What's this? It's not rhubarb pie, but I know you like Cheesecake! Pie. I love cheesecake. Or it's cheesecake. <laughs> Thank you. Elven Kingdom. Elven yeah. Kingdom. Wouldn't that- We'll send you a message as soon as we're done, is what you said. 
She said that? Yeah. Okay. Look at me at the tavern. <gasps> I know so. Oh, actually. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Right now. Mm. Yeah, but then he's not gonna... Shh. Well, I don't know. Are we going to explain what we're doing? <laughs> Do we hear? <laughs> um, it's gonna be hard to shake him though if they're already having a conversation. But what are they having a conversation about? Did she? I did Marina know. say? No. Okay. Well, guess I'll read oh, a little God. bit of my own book. And cry. Ooh. Read to me. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I can. Rumored that we're illiterate. <laughs> Wait, what? Who's illiterate? Navarians. <laughs> I personally have not heard that rumor, but elaborate, please. It's because I mispronounce words, so Lena teases me. Uh, Malachi teases me. And then Ziff. Or sorry, Ziff. Sylph uh, didn't know how to read or write, period. Because they were very young and we hadn't taught them. And our library doesn't contain any, like, I don't know. It contains, like, documents and stuff. It doesn't really contain, like, fiction. So your book is going to be a good addition. Oh, good. I hope. Well, I hope. <laughs> I think some, yeah. Well, okay, sure. I could, I could read it. That way, I can fix my own mistakes when I notice them before I say them out loud. You'll never know. Sure. Okay. Wait. No. Other way. This one's the normal chair. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. A Love of Sea and Fire, written by M.A. I did that sneaky so that people think it was Maholia, but it's... I was thinking mm. Melody. Anyways. <laughs> chapter one, I captured heart. I slammed the door behind me. Never mind. I can't do this. Never mind. I can't. <laughs> Why not? I can't. <laughs> it's too embarrassing. I can't do it. I forgot that chapter one is like this. It just starts off right off the bat. <clears throat> I slammed the door behind no. me, heart pounding in my chest. No. I went against the cold golden metal door and no. it slipped down to the floor. I could see... The floor I could... The sea image of her etched <laughs> God, inside my head. Her Wait. silky blue hair that shimmered in the moonlight. Oh, I slipped to the floor. I could see there's a comma that's missing. That's what's going on. Oh, I could see the image of her etched inside my head. Her silky blue hair that shimmered in the moonlight. Her sun-kissed skin. Those sunset pink eyes and her lips. I shook my head, trying to rid of the thought... Rid of the thought I knew would follow. I... Princess of the Nether cannot be in love with a mermaid. And in love? What is that? Was that this feeling of not being able to get her out of my head? I had only just seen her at the royal meetings for the upcoming summer solstice ball, and I wanted to turn right back and I see her and see her again. To see her, to hold her. <laughs> Heat rose in my cheeks. Come on, Val, I whispered to myself. I took off my crown of sh sharpened the salt and tossed it carefully on the nightstand next to my bed. I was too exhausted to remove anything else from being hounded by advisor Asriel earlier about the part I needed to take for the upcoming events. Treaties, trades, politics, blah, blah, blah. What if I, what would I give, what I would give to just spend one day out of this fiery prison? It wasn't that bad. 
The Nether had been my home for my entire life, and there would be things I would miss. The majestic giant jellyfish, despite their uncertainty to end life around it with just one touch. The lava lakes that stretched out into the unknown. The only reason I was insufferable was because of the amount, the endless amount of duties I had to uphold. I could feel the fire build in my clenched fists and stretched up, and stretched up into my forearm. If I had heard one more, do what's best for the kingdom, I'm gonna... I beat Pit in my chest so hard I thought I'd throw up. I had forgotten the fire that runs through the blood, the ocean that runs through hers. That's why we can't be together. Fire and water, they don't mix. In fact, we are probably the most toxic poisons to each other. I could hear Advisor Azriel's voice in my head. You are a princess, Bathory. <laughs> you have a duty to your kingdom to marry a royal. Probably from the Elven or Winter Kingdom would be best. I really am going to puke. I tossed and turned in my sheets until I finally fell into sleep. And that rhymed. Trying to avoid the thoughts of the little mermaid who had captured my heart. And we can stop there. <clears throat> I don't think I can take it much more of this. <laughs> uh, it's good. I like your writing. Oh, thank you. It could have been better, but I I wrote it in a week. I'm going to keep telling myself that. You wrote it in a, work, in a week? You're a first-time publisher without an editor. I think you are doing just... And you can read the rest to yourself, because I don't think I could handle those last two chapters out loud. Spicy? No, it's not. No, it's not. Let me look. No, it's not. I don't. I'm not brave enough to do that. Runaway lovers. Ooh. No, don't don't just skim through it. You're gonna spoil it for yourself. <laughs> But I wanted, I wanted the kisses. <laughs> I wanted to see the kiss. <laughs> Breathe them, kiss. Okay. Wait, what? Hmm? Did I you wanted say to read them, kiss? Oh, I thought you You're said the three of them you. kissing. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, what? No, read them. Um, I don't remember if I, I don't think I, I don't think I put that. That that might be. I don't think there's an official one. Mm. They're on their way. Okay. Would you like Phew. to switch? I... Yes. I will have to figure out what I can do because I don't know how to speak. All right. Let me test. Oh. Um, uh, Maholia is currently trying to adjust her, um, means of communication, but if we can't, then we will add you to a call. Uh, can you hear answer. me? Just give her a moment. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're fine. Did the mute Sick. get you? No, it was more of a, like, everything disappeared got me, so I couldn't oh. see any way to communicate. That's concerning. Do you want okay. us to come back in? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> okay. No, you're good. I'm going to make a, a private chat within here, though, however. Okay. All right. I'm staying in the voice so I don't lose it. <laughs> Why uh, is it the week I'm sick? I have to sing everything. <laughs> wait, you have to sing everything? That is our task. I have to sing everything I say. Huh. Interesting. Uh, we have to put a an Omina on the throne for a day without telling them that it's the task. So, Hello. am I in? I Hello. can't see if I am yes. or not. You are. Okay. Are. Yes. All right. <clears throat> well, I have some questions before we propose our idea to you. All right. I have given Coral. A week to hand over Ziff for the illegal making of a portal. I... However, 
Due to certain conversations with specific people, ones of opinions that matter to me, we came up with an idea. But I want to know, one, your full extent of your relationship with him, and two, where you stand on this black serpent business. And you want full honesty, yes? Because I can give it to you, but some of it is not so great. If you want him alive at the end of this, I would appreciate honesty. That's what I figured, but just in case. I guess I will go first. You want? In terms of my relationship, we grew up together. I am very close to Ziff, and until a certain point a few months ago, I didn't know the Black Serpent existed. He was... we've always been very close. Um... I'm pretty sure, though I can't confirm it, but I'm pretty sure I've been in love with him the most time I've known him, I think. I don't know for sure. I'm still working it out. I haven't admitted it yet to myself or him. Doesn't oh. matter. Um, but besides that, uh, he's normally very protective. Sorry, and, give me a second. Mm -hmm, and he wants to make sure that the people he cares about are okay. Um, as for the Black Serpent, it is passed down generationally. His father had it, and his father is, well, in terms of the missive that Era received, his father is currently rocking back and forth in a corner, making his head bleed by scratching it into, of scratching his nails into it over and over and mm. over again. And I had a conversation with the Black Serpent a couple of days ago in full, without dealing with his malarkey of him pretending to be Ziff, and he confirmed that he is still within the br the mind of Ziff's father, even as we speak. But his priority is Ziff, and it's associated with the helmet, and that the helmet has been going on for who knows how long, longer than anyone on this planet is alive, including Solstice. I know that for sure. I don't know how many generations it has gone through. I just know it's been a lot. And I know when the helmet is on Ziff, he does not have any or the tiniest mini school amount of memories of any events that go on when the helmet is on. And when the helmet is off, it seems like the Black Serpent has access to all or the majority of Ziff's memories in total, and Ziff tries to admit that it's a sickness, he's in very heavy denial about what is going on, but he's coming into better terms with it recently. It is not a good situation, because we don't know exactly what he's going to do, but we know he has given the threat of war on at least one occasion. Whether or not the Black Serpent will actively act on it, is a very different story. We don't know. But all of the royals, as well as our advisor, and several other important people, such as Theo, um, happen to know about the Black Serpent and are keeping an eye on Ziff as soon as we see the helmet goes out. Typically, the helmet goes out when he feels like he can't handle a situation, or perhaps... If I have inferred correctly, if the Black Serpent can almost whisper in his ear, slightly, as it were, uh, to make sure that the helmet goes back on and he gains control, full control of his body, that was the reason why he did not come with us to the end, because he was fighting the Black Serpent in his head for eight days, and when I finally confronted him, I had smelled blood in his room. The faintest amount, but it wasn't sickness, he was actively fighting him. And I guess he gained 
some sort of semblance of control to at least not have his body be fully in charge of the Black Serpent. I don't know for sure. I just know that I cannot trust Ziff when the helmet is on because he is not the one in control at that point. I believe that is everything. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, as for me, I don't have as much to say, I'm afraid. Um, I've been, I guess, dating Ziff for a few months now, I'd say. Um, as part of the... Um, but what I do know is when I first heard about this Black Serpent, I did warn him, and he was in denial that it even existed. Um, I found it, I found that he gave me a book called A Captain's Duty, and it described how the helmet was forged. Uh, apparently it was forged with the living materials of this Black Serpent. Um, and you've basically said most of what I know. Um, what I will say is something happened at one point when he said he gave me a biology book of the Black Serpent. Um, and this is going to make me sound crazy, um, but this book the letters changed to speak to me, as if the mm. Black Serpent was talking to me. Um, I can't quite remember off the top of my head what it said, just that he was basically taunting me for knowing. Did you ever touch the helmet? No, I did not. No. We don't know where he hides it. No. Nor do we know where he hides the secret other portal. I only found out at the winter event, because Lady See Lena here. was concerned. What? Lena told me the same thing, remember? Yes. At, yes. The, at the winter festival. Yes, that's the only reason, because none of the rest of the royals or the advisors or no other member of the Mermaid Kingdom knew that he had made one. So it was quite a shock to the rest of us. Um, the Black Serpent also left me a message that I found in one of my uh, barrels. I showed Marina. I don't have it on me, as it's currently on the shelf. But I can go get it if you need me to. That's alright. Um, but that's all I really can say on the matter. I don't if... like this Black Serpent either. The Black Serpent is charged. Is in charge. Excuse me. Is there no semblance of Ziff? Not when the helmet's on. As much as he would like to, as the Black Serpent would like to pretend, there is no semblance of Ziff. He is no longer in control, and he does not remember any events that happen when the helmet is on. You we think, have tried. Do you think with an emotionally charged event, it would bring Ziff out? Um, I don't know for sure, to be honest. Usually when he's in Black Serpent mode, he goes into a, uh, how, how do I put this? Um, kind of a circling mode, and he rotates a lot, and he doesn't stay in one place for too long. Hmm. Well, I think my proposition can still stand. Need to time it accordingly. This doesn't I... leave here. Mm -hmm. Do I make myself clear? Of course. Mm -hmm. I... I had the idea that if we shackle him Someone holds him. Okay. In your inventory. I don't wish to touch this helm. But I'm wondering if one of you two was in enough peril he would hand it over and put it in a box to be destroyed. 
be taken to the nether and destroyed, I should say. And I'll make my intentions clear. I want nothing to do with this helmet. I have enough to deal with. I don't need people whispering in my ear to kill everybody. Understandable. I don't think anyone wants will... anything to do with it. Apologies. No, you're fine. I want to destroy it. Genuinely. I want him dead for what he's done. But like I said, there are people's opinions in my life that I care about, and they want me to try other ways. I don't mind getting Coral in on this plan, either. I have tried to give her time to figure out what she would like. If she knows the location of this helm, we can take it before he even gets to it. If you think that he would be rational and reasonable enough to talk with about this, then we can. But I would ask that you don't right now. The only issue is that when the Black Serpent's in control, he doesn't care about anyone or anything. Why I uh, said timing needs to be right. If Sif even touches the helmet, perhaps in his hand, I don't know if that will grant access to it in the first place. So I don't know how well this will work. But I would be willing to try. I would assume if he's shackled, even if he touches the helmet, put it in a box. Hmm. And the serpent comes out, we would still pick you up. Either of you. And I make that my promise. And I would hope that the recent events of bringing back an heir of my most hated kingdom would speak true to my word. I would not let you die. Because... I... Mah Maholia would be there invisible, picking you up already as he does it. I apologize. Could I get an... Uh, I don't believe I've been here properly for the past week or so. What exactly happened? <laughs> I am also unsure of what you're talking about. They don't the know. The only air I know of that has died is Galaxy. Mm. Well, and Solstice. What? Solstice is dead? When did that happen? Um, I had meant to say. Um, I... Max. Apologies. Um, I'm so sorry, Mahalia. It was not intended. It was an accident. Max I'm sorry as well. was attempting to arrest him. And he ran. And from what I was told, he... Um, got downed, and just suddenly died when they were trying to resuscitate him. Oh. I did not know that happened. It happened after the thing I told you about. That soon? Oh dear. I apologize. I... It slipped my mind with all this. I didn't want to interrupt with things like that. You don't need to apologize. Um... He and I were not on the greatest of terms. I am still sorry that we lost a relative. However, with Galaxy, I assisted in it. Bringing her back. I will not go into details. I didn't even know that Galaxy was back. Me neither. I didn't yeah. know that was possible. Magic is a funny thing. Well, I'm glad she is okay. Indeed. At least. For the most part. I would give them the Seraph's grace right now. <laughs> so. My idea. He is to be shackled and chained. So he cannot get close to either of you. I will be there with one of you. Or both if you'd like to come. But whoever would like volunteer with my knights present i will down one of you maholia and Invis invisible will begin the resuscitation process and we will continue until he 
gives up the helmet by putting it in a box. That way, only he is to touch it. If the Black Serpent comes out, he'll already be shackled. I would be willing to go down. This I is going to sound said, like... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I've said to all the poly that I'd be willing to lay down my life for their safety. So this will just be the proof. This is going to sound like an insensitive question. Between the two of you. You think you will strike a chord? I don't know. As if his known Marina won't give him, he has mine. You're the one he's officially dating, he doesn't even know about my part. So... Oh, he so could always he... knock us both down. Mm. I was going we to could say make a show also... of it. You could make a show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You might need maybe one other elf invisible though, <laughs> just in case. Yeah. I, I could talk to someone. We can talk about that. Yeah. My one worry is I'm assuming this would happen in the nether. We could do no, that I will end. dry and they will melt. Um... <clears throat> Uh, he is no stronger in the Mermaid Kingdom than any other, correct? Uh, no. Minus we're a just... conduit? As long as they're a conduit, we're about the same as everybody else up in the water. We're just much, much quicker and in the water. <laughs> um, but if you wanted to make a show of it, I just don't think we'd survive if it was in the nether. No. No. Because I'm pretty sure I would dry out and ear would melt. We um, don't know anything about whether or not winters can survive in the nether. Which is why. However, I skip. there's the case of maybe choosing a neutral territory. That's true. And there's also something involving humans. So. Oh. Or the Black Knight. I don't remember quite well. But there's something with the black serpent and humans, so if you want to do it in some sort of human village, that might also be a part of the show. Maholi, you mentioned the end, maybe? It was just a thought. The end could work, as long as we're not, uh, there's proper railing so we don't accidentally fall off. I we think neutral ground would be fine. Do. I, brew, I built railings at the entrance to the end, I will say that, so. There he is, very. If my knight should need to step in. I imagine one of my knights holding him and then Fang being at the ready to put him down. He is, uh, unreasonable. Either way, at the end of the day, he will be collected. But if we can get that helmet off of him, I see no reason to take him. That's fair enough. Hmm. I'm sure both of us would really like it if the Black Serpent was gone. For sure. That would be great. So. My last question. Is this something we should involve Coral with? Since Coral has left me much this week, I do not know. Noted. It is why I am doing this stupid voice. Because I have to sing everything. Um. I will say I was planning on taking a break from advising for a while, so I don't know when you want to do this um. it was something I thought of today so potentially by the end of the week maybe beginning of next all right but we can discuss timelines mm -hmm. Thank you for coming, and being honest. 
Thank you for, uh, in the future, allowing me to play out this scheme with you. Mm. Better bring um. your acting chops. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I don't have anything else, but if you have questions for us, let us know. Just to make sure that there are people on hand, and whatever island you decide to choose, if you go the end route, please have railings. Yes. Um. Your safety will... Right, is on. accounted for. I also have healing powers, so... If it's an issue where you may re-die again and again, I can mend that. That's good to hear. <clears throat> Maybe a forest would be good so I could actually just heal them as sure. much as possible. I agree. Yeah. We can pick a forest. Wherever you decide to go, we will make it a show. Thank you. Hmm. I would just advise not to have water. Just so he can't speed away if he notices something is up. Because hmm. he may come in the helmet. I don't know for sure. Hmm. That's why timing is going to kind of be... particular, and why this should be kept as tight-lipped as possible. I don't want him catching wind of our plan. Mm -hmm. So he can... So the serpent can plan for it. If he is being possessed that day, we will have to find another time. Mm -hmm. It could be a situation where we have everything set up and does he have a telepath to either one of you? He has I mine. He has. I think he has mine as well. It could be a situation where you just ask your casual to come telepath to you without insinuating any panic. And then, while he's not wearing the helmet, well, then he would need to bring it, correct? Yeah. So he you said he doesn't keep be... it on on him. I don't yeah. know if he keeps it on him. Mm. I know for a fact he doesn't, oh, because when we were go. at the winter festival, festival, he left and came back with the helmet. Oh, that is true. He did do that. I mean, there's a way to check his inventory to see. True. It'll be a failed plan in that regard. Yeah. But well, I can do it invisible. Then it goes back to plan A. There's also the case that the sure. power needs to be generational. So if one person besides him picks it up, it shouldn't pass the curse over. It does need to be generational. Yes, oh, it does. Know. So unless there are some other secret family members that we don't know about, it should just be Ziff. Mm -hmm. And Ziff's father, who has already gone past the deep end of madness. It does not affect Ziff's mother. So if I touch it, I won't? No. Unless you're oh. secretly related to Ziff somehow. I, I would know. hope not. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst day of my life. <laughs> I can't lie. Uh, well, that... Uh, then we could just take it off of him. If it's on his body, it should just be able to be taken. <gasps> he can chuck it. That would be a better plan, though, is if you go down and he telepasses to you with the helmet on and we are standing over you and we shackle him as soon as he teleports in. Yeah, that works. We'd probably have to go down at the same time, though. Perhaps mm -hmm. we go down to half a heart, you have two knights or whatever, knock us both down, and then whoever he decides to telepass to and just have someone behind the both of us and react quickly enough. The others who have our patel passes will have to know them, that they don't teleport over instead. I yeah, think that... the only ones that have mine are Quinn and Theo. I, have a couple people. I will have to steal the one in the Mermaid Kingdom. That's supposed to be for everybody. 
besides that, it should just be Quinn and Theo. Uh, Kano, Quinn, Max, I think, and Bryn, and Theo have mine, and you. So it may be need, I might need to be timed where there's not a large amount of yeah. people Other around. Mm-hmm. Especially without any winters on, I'd say, considering things at the minute. Oh dear. Yes. Hmm. Yes. That's yes. We don't want to involve that. Um. Hmm. Okay. If they do show, are they also going to be opposed of Ziff being relieved of this awful curse? They want Ziff to be normal. Mm-hmm. At least in terms of Theo and Quinn, for mine, they want Ziff to be normal. And everyone else who knows about the Black Serpent wants him to go back to normal. Mm-hmm. So... I don't know anyone else who knows about the Black Seven other than... I don't know either. But everyone I know does not want him to be the Black Serpent. Because he's slowly going into the time where he's less Ziff, more Black Serpent. Yeah. I will... set up... plan A accordingly. Do kill him or imprison imprison him but I think if the holy is invisible you guys go down shackle him she takes the helmet (laughs) we pick you up I don't see why I just don't know if he can uh, I guess it would depend on how you destroy it because I'm not 100% sure but I think the Black Serpent can communicate to him without the helmet on. It incites him to put the helmet on when it's off. So you would have to probably react quickly, even if he is shackled, or we have to keep him shackled for a very long time, in order to make sure that the helmet is destroyed. My two choices are to destroy it. This is the thing, is that it's another right helmet. I'd like to destroy it in the depths of the nether, where it was the helmet was originally forged. However, I, I don't think it will burn there. So my other choice is the end. Into the void? Into the void. Into the void. Mm-hmm. So. If we do it in the end, that just saves us a trip. Mm-hmm. True. We just have to make sure that there's a conduit around. We can set up a conduit. I... I have a heart of the sea if we need one. I also have one somewhere. We can set that up. I probably will go somewhere towards the library and then venture out from there. Mm-hmm. Just so it's not right at the end. Pick an island, make it safe. And, uh, yeah, go ahead with the plan because then I can, myself or Maholia, when grabbing it. Toss it. And I just want to confirm. You are 100% sure. If anyone else touches the helmet, who is not of family descent, will he not be infected. He has very spokenly been honest about the fact that it is generational. And he laughs okay. about it. How many just... And he mocks. So unless there are secret members of Ziff's family, we should be fine. I know for sure I am not a part of Ziff's family. So if need be, I can do it. I can throw it over. I think the box, it'll still be safe to do. Hmm. Throw it. I agree. But I just want to make sure that no one... Okay, so my thought is it. Okay, so it's an accidental, you know, glimpse of it. We should be fine. Noted. Wonderful. Well, we can do this before Coral comes back. Or how happy she'll be. 
I did give her a timeline for her to do it. that I took care of a bad situation than me doing it when she's not around. Hmm. That's my when hope, some, anyway. Win you some brownie points? Eh. That wouldn't <laughs> hurt. <laughs> I just... Gus of time. That's all for my end. All right. I don't have any questions, did you? No, me neither. All right, then. It seems we have an accord. <laughs> A very interesting bunch we have here. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All we're missing is a seraph, but we got one of everybody. True. <laughs> Very true. Um, before Any, uh, you, before any you... seraphs in the polycule? <laughs> no. Like... No, but I wouldn't be opposed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an Ethereum, I don't have a seraph. I got everybody else. <laughs> okay, path is cleared. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Well, <clears throat> good morrow. And, um, I'm sorry about Princess Lorelia, by the way. Yeah, I... I'm working it out with her. Please know that I didn't... I, I don't agree with what she's doing. And she didn't ask me about anything before doing it. Um, I would have tried to make it more civil, and I apologize for that. Apology accepted. Alright. Good luck with your singing! Thanks! <laughs> I hate it so far. <laughs> it's not fun. My voice feels weird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta do this a week. Great! <laughs> oh no. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye for now. Now we trust that they keep it a secret. I think they will. If they care for him. And I hope he cares for them. Me too. Push comes to shove, we can. I go invis fate. and I grab it off of him. Die. Invis, handcuffs, box, grab it, go. Done. We need to find a big enough island that we can set up a conduit underneath it. Big enough that if we put fences around the outside, he won't immediately notice them. Um, we can't pick her up until he's dragged away. Okay. Um, or if she gets picked up, obviously we have to, whoever, either one of them, we have to put down again. Yeah. Once he's pulled off. Yeah, because it doesn't to notify think. that they've been pulled off or pu uh, picked up. Right. No, it just happens. It just happens, no. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, if he has the chance to, like, immediately... Because I'm... I'm hoping that he teleports in and he's instantly looking down to wherever she is to try and pick her up and we grab him. And then, with a chain... With shackles and a chain, you can pull him. Um, so, whoever does that, my knight, your knight... Can pull him off. Think Fang can body block. Um, you and Viz grab it. I stand with her. You, Ka Kaya, Theo, Kano, whoever you trust to join, mm -hmm. picks her up. Or I can pick her up. It's really not the deal. If this is the way the way that we're going, mm -hmm. you uninviz. 
and throw the box overboard. Overboard? Side. <laughs> Over... Into the ocean? Into the... I said overboard, but I meant over, like, into the void. If we do it in the end. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. think we should... I'm not going to lie. I think reflecting on it, the end is probably our best option. Because I don't think in the, in the nether it will be destroyed. And there's... Netherite does not burn. So you can't set it on fire. You can't throw it in the lava. And I have a strong feeling that it had specific enchance, enchance on it that it will help it. Mm. Um... So, I think the void is our best option. Okay. Throw it off. We pick her up. And... See what happens. Alrighty. It's a plan. <sighs> And you will be around for this plan, right? Yes. I promise. Good. Thank you. Of course. I need you there. You and Fang are... Hmm? People I trust. Despite the secrets you keep, they've been for good reason. Yeah. I... There's no secret I keep that... Actually, I don't want to mix up my words here. There's not a secret I keep that would harm you. In any way. That is reassuring. <laughs> Thank you. I the same. You don't keep any secrets from me. Hopefully. None that would harm you. Oh? Okay. What? <laughs> well, you're making it sound like you have secrets. You don't seem... I have conversations that I have between people that are private. Okay. But... Well, I don't need to know all your business. But if you... If you need somebody to open up to, I'm happy to be that person. Thank you. Again, I the same. I kept, uh, kept your location secret from Fang for a long time. The one person that I, tr like, trust above everybody. I kept your secret for, so I hope that speaks volumes. It's okay, um, I knew you would keep my secret to the best of your ability. Other people, however, <laughs> it's in the past now, but they could torture me, and I would never give you up. I don't say that. I don't like the idea of you being tortured, <laughs> and I don't like the idea of you being hurt or found when you. I don't like that idea either. Yeah. So if me keeping your location safe keeps you safe, I will do that by any means. Today's been very fun. Yes, it has. Despite the serious talk. But I unfortunately am going to go retire. It's okay, me too. I have 
a really good book I gotta go read. <laughs> yeah, you enjoy that book. It's not uh, maybe as spicy as you want it to be, but I hope you still <laughs> let me know <laughs> how you like it. I like a good romance here and there, too. All right. Be safe, please. I will. You don't have to worry about me. I do anyway. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. I'm sorry. I lied. But I will do everything in my power to make sure that you will be happy even if I'm not here. I will not leave you with any trouble. Well, I need to go back to my room, and she's up there. I don't know where to go. So I think I'm just going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Princess SMP. This was not supposed to be a long... This was not supposed to be an entire episode, but now it is because we talked for hours and did a lot more than we were supposed to. So I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments below and the next episode... Maybe a finale. Thank you guys so, so much for watching Princess SMP, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.